Maybe we just carry on my and John's food in the truck. I don't know, just a little bit of food. Over, he's looking at Peter's. This yes. is the sign that you found here. It fell, it dropped. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Zara, did you feed her this? Did you feed her that too? This is it. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the baby. Just keep... Wait, 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 wait. Did you just feed something to, to um, this little one? I think otherwise you will keep us busy. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, what's from the top? Yeah, you you have to be more aware that I, that I a little bit. Like a little right bit now. more lively. <laughs> yeah, and a little bit more feisty. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah. besides the shape of the lip, mm. what's, what's the difference between mm. white rhino and black rhino? Uh, even the way they walk, size. Look at this, this is quite nice. So here you can see with the white mm. rhino's head. Yeah, the, the wide lip. Yeah, look at that, it's a prehensile lip. Yeah. So when they're out in the bush, so when there's a tamboti thicket or a sickle bush, that little trunk or prehensile lip will go up, it'll take the lead. Now feel your, take your tongue and feel your molar. Take your tongue into your molar. Can you feel yeah. there's a bit of a valley? Yeah. And can you feel these sharp edges on the side? Theirs is incredibly sharp and that's why Peter and was saying we need to be careful with our hands. Yeah. Okay, so they'll take a twig in and then cut it. And there's two sharp edges that you see there, that is the little twig that you find in their dung typically. If we incorrectly tell the gift is exactly 45 degrees. So there ladies and gents, see the major difference between black and white rhino, so white rhino grazes, so that big wide lip for eating lots of grass, and if we look at these little black rhinos, look at how mobile that little lip is, look at this, if we put, put our hands here, there we go, okay, so it's like a little trunk, like an elephant's trunk, so it's designed to pull in twigs, cut them with the molars, look at this, hello, hello, Ooh, listen to how it's communicating, this is beautiful, Okay now, what do you do with your trees in your garden to make them grow better? You prune them at an angle and it shows oh, you how so beautiful nature has been put together. Okay, so these guys go up and they prune trees to get them to grow better. They're beautiful little animals. A huge treat, highly endangered. And the babies, don't they walk behind the mother? Yeah, they do. So white rhinos walk in, in front, front and the reason for that is their eyesight is very poor and I think Petronel was alluding to that a little bit earlier. Okay, we perceive everything from a human point of view because our eyes are the strongest. Is okay. that also because mm -hmm. they like browsers and grazers where like a browser there's more trees they can't see That's much, exactly maybe? what we're getting to now. Oh. Okay, so if you look at their strongest sense is smell followed by hearing followed by sight. Okay, so typically white mm -hmm. rhinos in a little bit more of an open area. So if you're running away from danger, the mother's got the experience. She puts the calf in front of her okay. and she steers it with the horn. Black rhinos, browsers, so generally thicker vegetation. So there the mother's experience, she's going to crash her Make road the through for thing. the calf. Okay. And the calf follows behind. Okay, one of my okay. trackers, the Shangan mm -hmm. tracker, actually explained it very beautifully. He says even with people it's the same. So if you look at us in... Uh, People from European descent, we like carrying our babies in front. And if you look at uh, our African counterparts, they like having their babies yeah. on their backs. Okay, so quite a nice example then also. They're beautiful. Eh? This is really a treat.